Hey students, Mr. Dow here, and today I want to talk about an abstraction. In the rubric for your Project 3.2, uh, one of the ways you, you um, meet the standard is by having uh, an abstraction. Okay, remember, it can be either a piece of logic or a loop or uh, an abstraction, something that simplifies a more comp uh, complex code. So I'm going to show you how you can use a function in MakeCode to do the abstraction. You guys, uh, if you've ever used MIT App Inventor, they call this same thing a procedure. So I'm going to do the example with something that we've all done before, and that is make an LED light blink. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make a function and I'm going to click right in this code block and I'm just going to call this blink because that's what I'm going to have this function do blink that LED light all right now when it blinks it doesn't just go on and off once it's going to go on and off several times so here's something else that's in our rubric a loop I'm going to make a function or an LED light, and I'm just gonna have it blink six times. I can just click right in that circle area and change it. I can, I can have this blink as many times as I like, and of course I can always go back and adjust it inside my function. All right, now uh, if we think back to the examples I gave you guys of the wiring diagram, I chose pin one for my lights in my dispenser example that I showed you. So digital right to pin one, that's where the LED light is going to be. Uh, so I'm gonna change the pin to one. And if my light is gonna blink, well, it's gotta turn on. So I'm gonna change the setting from zero to one, and that's gonna turn my digital light on. And then I'm gonna duplicate this because if it's blinking, course it has to go off and if it's going to blink then it needs to stay on for a amount of time and then go off for an amount of time and I'm gonna do this with my pause block and I am going to I like 200 milliseconds that's the blink I am comfortable with I'm also going to duplicate this hey guys remember uh, I am on a computer, I am right clicking to get that duplicate on your Chromebooks, Alt, and then click the trackpad, and you will get that same option. Here we go. Now I have created the function blink that is going to uh, repeat this on for a 200 milliseconds and off for 200 milliseconds cycle. That's going to blink an LED light six times. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna pull out an on button A pressed. I'm going to go to my function and take it out, this abstraction of blinking code. And you can see my emulator is thinking about the code change here. Let's try it. Uh, keep your eye on pin one here. There it is, it blinked six times. Now you'll see too, I can go in and say, oh, you know what? That was blinking too fast for my comfort. You can make your changes inside. Oops. Inside the function and those changes will then filter out uh, to your code block here. So you don't have to replace this code block. And you can see, it's blinking a little slower. So that's it. And this is uh, most handy when in your code, you're having this same thing happening in multiple places. Um, so when uh, this is an example, if you needed blinking lights in several places in your code, this really makes sense to do it this way. You build your blink or whatever it is you want to happen once, and now you've got that block that you can use in multiple places. All right, that's it. That is your abstraction 
in make code. 